In this video we'll show how you can encrypt the data that you store in a SQL database when you create a list control with a detail view. So you can see here we have a list control and there's our corresponding detail view. And if we look over here we can see that here, here is the SQL table that this list is based on. So right now all of the data in this list is being stored in clear text. So I'm going to go now and turn on encryption. Um, so if I go to the list itself now and then I go to my fields tab, I can see that if I go to the name, I can say that I'd like to encrypt this field. And if I go to the credit card number field, I can say I'd also like to encrypt the field. And for each field I can specify what the encryption key can be. So each field can have its own encryption key. So let's go now and uh, run this uh, component and we'll make a change. Let's go and edit uh, alpha and make this uh, um, alpha 2 and let's go and change the credit card number to be say um, 333 and then go ahead and hit save. So there's our row is dirty and then hit the synchronize button. So now we've written the data to the database and now let's go and look at what's inside that SQL table. So if we go and do a refresh here, we'll see that the name field has now been encrypted and the credit card number field has also been encrypted. But when we look at the data in the list, we see the unencrypted uh, values. So the data in the uh, SQL table is encrypted but uh, the list itself shows the unencrypted value. So I'm going to go there to beta and change that value and then go to the credit card number and then change that and then uh, hit the synchronize button. So now th this second row in the table should also be encrypted. And there we have it. You can see that this, the second row now is is also encrypted. So what we've shown over here is how you can easily encrypt individual fields in a SQL table for um, for situations where the list control with the detail view is based on that uh, SQL table. Thanks very much for watching.